What's up, everybody? My name's Adam. I'm Aileen. And uh, welcome to our channel. Today we got something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be doing a little card game deal. It is uh, Let's Get Deep Questions for Couples. It's uh, from a company. Well, they created another one. It's called What Do You Mean? Which is. We've played that one before. That one's kind of fun. So we're going to try this one. Let you guys know what we think of it. So we open it up? Yeah. Giant Australian knife. <laughs> From a, what's that movie, Crocodile Dundee? Now that's a knife. A box of mine. I gotta sharpen it though. I tried to cut something earlier and it would not work. Um, that's how you cut yourself. Yeah. It's not the sharp knife that gets you, it's the dull one. No, this is all their other games. For the girls, let's, ooh, we should play that one. You're not a girl. Oh. Slide in the DMs. Let's play that one. <laughs> Stir the pot, that one's for granny. <laughs> So set up. Time to put down your phone. Oh, we gotta put our phones away. Oh crap. I don't even know where my phone is. It's over there somewhere. No. And learn about who you spend 99% of your time with. I wish I spent 99% of my time with you. <laughs> you should be playing this with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Divide the cards in three designated piles. Ah. Three? They kind of already are. One's not even though. How do you get it out? Oh. Flip the pot upside down. No, oh, that would make too much sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing it the hard way. Makes life more exciting. What's in there? Nothing? Space saver. It's an empty box. That's, that's a waste of freaking packaging. One of these is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Icebreaker, Deep, and Deeper. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> How do we play? So the person who most recently sent a text to their partner is the first to draw a card. That would be me. Yeah. I text you that I was here. Pull from whichever deck you prefer and answer slash ask a question as directed. Players take turns reading the, and answering the questions. You can either both answer the same card or answer each one by yourself. It's up to you. Use these cards to simulate and create dialogue between you. We are so here for any form of love, whether it's new or established. Some questions in the deck are mostly applicable to longer term relationships, so if that doesn't apply to you, simply draw another card. Or you can even take a guess at that answer, what that answer might be once you reach the point in your relationship. Play until you feel you've reached a new level in your relationship. Above all, remember to have fun. Stupid phone, shut up. <laughs> Get away from me. Oh. You threw that further than I throw the plastic. <laughs> okay, so let's just start with an icebreaker, see what it's like. What's your favorite holiday? Oh, it's definitely Christmas. Christmas? I like Halloween best. Yeah. Christmas yeah. is my second favorite. What do we do with Actually, this? I'm gonna have to change that to 4th of July. You, know, you just like making all the boom booms. <laughs> My turn? Oh. Okay. Deep. What's something you appreciate about your life right now that you may not have 10 years from now? No. That is deep. That is deep. 10 years from now? I don't want to get morbid. You know, certain family members. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. I can't really picture anything else really changing 10 years from now. 
you know, that I yeah, that, that, that would, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things can change in 10 years that I would actually like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I could think of would be losing my dog, Buddy. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, that's kind of part of having a dog, so. Yeah, short lifespans, unfortunately. All right. Your turn. I'm going to try deeper. Uh-oh. What is the moment you get most nostalgic about and why? That's not that deep. Yeah, that's really not that deep, huh? For being a deeper, I would say that's a deep. Anyway, most nostalgic about? It's got to be video games. I have so many. Yeah, video games are definitely one of them. I mean, I've played video games <laughs> since I was like... <laughs> Since I could talk. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to change mine to Clear Lake. Hmm. I get really nostalgic about Clear Lake. Yeah. My turn? Yeah. Pick one. I'm going to go Icebreaker. Lose your sense of touch or smell. Or your sense of smell. Why? Wait, what? Which one would you rather lose? Oh, lose your sense of touch or your sense of smell. And why? Oh. That's a hard one. That's deeper than the other one. For an icebreaker. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my sense of smell because that'll impact my sense of taste. But I also wouldn't want to lose my sense of touch. Like, I wonder if it doesn't mean just in your fingertips. Like, if you should touch something in your fingertips and you can't feel it. Or if, like, somebody touches your arm or something and you can't feel it. That's what I'm thinking of. If it's just, if it was just, like, losing the feeling in my hands, I probably wouldn't bother me too much yeah but my sense of smell i would I, that that one would kill me because i, I would miss a lot of like you know cookie smells and <laughs> barbecues and oh, all yeah. the good stuff oh i'm hungry now <laughs> i want cookies and barbecue now we got chocolate chip cookie dough veronica made oh, i want cookie cookies though not just the dough well yeah, we can make them later we made a dozen last night and someone ate them all <laughs> I'm guessing that would be you. Wasn't me. <laughs> I'm doing an icebreaker. Shower in the morning or at night? I already know uh, your answer. Both. Yeah. <laughs> For an hour. <laughs> yeah. I have to shower in the morning. If I don't shower before I get dressed, I feel icky the rest of the day. Mm. And irritable. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just a dirty carpenter, so <laughs> I got to shower when I get home. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know which one to go for. <laughs> I'm scared we're gonna get something crazy. I'm gonna go icebreaker this time. I wonder how crazy it could get though. Yeah, I know. Describe your perfect dinner. These are all food related. <laughs> food or <laughs> Ice advice. Icebreakers <laughs> are like all just food related. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like perfect dinner as in what we're eating or as in like where it is or what we're doing? I would say mm. what we're eating. What's our perfect dinner for what we're eating? Me. Yeah. I don't know. My smoked prime rib. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really think of. I don't know. Because that's kind of a. Like. Oh, I know. My perfect dinner is one that I don't have to cook or clean. Good point. <laughs> that, w that would be the best dinner. <laughs> <laughs> restaurant it is <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody we're gonna end it there uh this was a kind of fun game yep. we'll definitely uh be doing another video on it yeah we got plenty more cards to go through we barely scratched the surface of the, these oh, yeah. cards yeah. i mean we, there's we didn't go deep at all yeah we didn't Not go very deep at all <laughs> so uh subscribe like this video and we'll see you on the next one